We've all shot some video only to realize that our background noise is unusable. Whether it's distorted, contains copyrighted music that might be blocked on YouTube, or it's a conversation that can't be used, editing out your background noise is essential. Thankfully, muting your videos is pretty easy. Here's what you need to do. On Windows, the easiest way to mute a video is to use the open source VLC media player. If you don't already have it, click on the link in the description below to download the installer. Once it's been installed, open it, then click on Media in the top right corner and choose Convert and Save. On the window that pops up, click on Add to find and select your video. Once you've found it, click on Convert Save at the bottom of the page. Once the next window loads up, choose the first profile from the profile list if it isn't already selected. Then click on the wrench icon next to Profile to bring up your new file settings and click on the Audio Codec tab. From here, uncheck the box next to Audio and click on Save to choose where your new file will be stored. Once that's set, Click on Start to create a copy of your file. VLC's method works on Mac too, but you can also use QuickTime for a built-in function. With QuickTime 10.5 or later, just open your clip, click on Edit at the top left corner, then select Remove Audio. Save your file to keep your changes. If you're using iOS, it's even easier. Just open the video you want to edit in the native Photos app, tap on Edit in the top right corner, then select the Speaker icon in the bottom left. Tap on Done, and your video will now be sound free. On Android, muting videos natively can vary from brand to brand, but using Google Photos is a surefire method. If it's not already installed, just tap on the link in the description below to get to the Play Store and install it. In the app, tap on Library and search for the video you want to edit. Once you've found it, tap on the screen to bring up controls and tap on Edit. From here, just tap on the speaker icon in the bottom left, then select Save a Copy. Once it's done saving, the Photos app will inform you where you can find your new file. If you like this guide, make sure you subscribe for all sorts of videos covering editing and other technology. And don't forget to check out one of these videos we think you might enjoy.